Hey guys, welcome back to Cretaceous Cast. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about some really, really cool news, if you haven't already seen it before. And that'll be that the dueling dinosaurs are finally public access. They have It's been a huge problem trying to get them for a long time. But finally, the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences has been able to obtain them. Now these dinosaurs are called the dueling dinosaurs because they were buried right next to each other. It looks like they're dueling, it's most likely that they weren't. They were probably just buried right next to each other. The two specimens preserved here are a dubious T-Rex, to say the least, and I'll get to that later, and a Triceratops, and both of these fossils are very well preserved. The Tyrannosaur in particular is almost complete, which would be really important for getting to understand Tyrannosaurs in general. This is just a very, very important thing that science has been able to get. And uh, science has been trying to get this for a long, 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 long time. It was originally found by Clayton Phipps, in about 2006, and ever since then, it's just been, it's just been hard to get. Uh, he tried to sell it to museums for quite a long time, but no one was really interested, and that's mainly because they thought that his excavation techniques weren't particularly ideal. Then, a London-based auctioneer tried to convince Clayton Phipps to auction the fossils, and that didn't end up working out. And over time, um, there were the people who owned the ranch, right? They they believe they own the fossils, and Clayton Phipps worked with them to try to get the fossils out there. Well, some other folks who worked under those who owned the ranch, they were starting to get fussy, and they were all like, oh, you gave us the mineral rights, so we should own these dinosaurs, and we should be able to sell them. So it ended up becoming a friggin' legal battle over whether or not fossils should be considered minerals. This whole debacle got a bunch of people from different museums and the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology to come together to file a brief on the side of the people who own the ranch who really should have owned the fossils, and that helped get the ball rolling. It was kind of a problem, but it, it, it took a couple years, but eventually fossils were ruled as not being minerals, and over time, the fossils were given back to the owners of the ranch. And the rest is history. The fossils are now owned by the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. Uh, the main project head for observing the dueling dinosaurs is Lindsay Zano. They're going to open a new paleo lab in that museum, and that will basically be one of the biggest things that they have working on there. Lots and lots of research is going to be conducted on this one particular specimen. And, uh, yeah, uh, this specimen's cool because it, it doesn't only have nearly complete skeletons, it also has skin impressions, so that could help put a nail in the coffin to the godforsaken does T-Rex have feathers or scales debate. Maybe it'll just make that stop. That'd be so wonderful. And then there's the other debate that this is pretty important for that makes everyone want to rip their hair out, and that's the Nanotyrannus debate. Now, I've talked about this on my channel way back in the past. My views on it have kind of changed. I used to be on the side of Nano. I'm kind of in the middle now. I just, I don't know. I don't really care as much as I used to. I just want us to know what the truth is. And frankly, after, there's this paper release like earlier this year. This paper focused on histology, so it cracked open the bones and looked what was going on inside of them. And it did that for two different juvenile T-Rex specimens, which one might say is a Nanotyrannus. And they deduced that the dinosaurs were 13 to 15 years old, and they looked like they were going through growth, much like how modern day birds and even mammals do when it comes to their histology. So it kind of makes the Nanotyrannus argument a little harder with that. The paper also made a good point. Why is it that we've only found Nanotyrannus specimens with histology that is soft like that of a juvenile? Why, why haven't we found any adults? That's really curious. And we, ha we, we have found uh, specimens of this juvenile Tyrannosaurus with few sutures, which definitely makes things a little weird, but it would make more sense that the histology is more important for showing what the animal really was than few sutures. I mentioned the dueling dinosaurs juvenile rex before, um, and that was in my Bygone Beasts Nanotyrannus video, and I talked about how it had proportionally larger arms than an adult T-Rex. So, overall, this specimen's really interesting. I am very much excited to see what people are going to find out about this, and I would really like to see this specimen put rest to this debate. I, I think that'd be neat. 
Honestly, either way, it's cool. If it's a Nanotyrannus, there's more diversity to the late Cretaceous ecosystem, which is, that is super cool. More than one Tyrannosaur, that is awesome. But if it's a Juvenile Rex, we have a nearly complete Rex skeleton here, and we get to learn a lot about T-Rex when it comes to its growth. That is sick. So I think this is nothing but a win-win situation. Sadly though, this whole thing isn't just sunshine and roses. The problem is, how much did this museum have to buy the fossils for? This might, this probably will end up being bad for museums to get fossils in the future because they might have to deal with the market and pay huge prices. And that is not ideal and could be really, really bad for science. However, on a lighter note though, the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences has a place where you can donate if you want to help out with this project and help with research and with preparing this thing and just getting it out there. But what do you guys think about this whole thing? What's your opinion? Sound off in the comments below. I, I'd be more than happy to hear your opinion on this. And if you have anything that's like important for this whole debate thing, Go off and tell me, man. I want to learn from this. So yeah, I, I, I hope you all enjoyed this. And remember, evolve or go extinct.